age-related macular degeneration, more commonly referred to as AMD, is an eye condition that affects your central vision, which is what you can see directly in front of you, rather than what is in your peripheral vision. The macula is the central part of the retina. In dry AMD, the light-receiving cells that allow us to see gradually die off. If you're living with AMD, you're not alone. In fact, AMD is the single largest cause of sight loss in the UK and affects more than 650,000 people. There are two forms of AMD, dry AMD and wet AMD. Dry AMD is the more common form of the disease, with around 80% of people with AMD having the dry form. The term dry doesn't mean that you can expect your eyes to feel dry if you have AMD. It is simply called dry to distinguish it from wet AMD, which involves fluid in the eye affecting the macula. Most people diagnosed with dry AMD will experience a very gradual deterioration in their central vision as the disease develops over months or even years. This is caused by the dying off of the cells of your eye that help you to see. This happens because the underlying layers of the retina that support these cells degenerate and can no longer keep them alive. One early sign of the disease in some people are small fatty deposits in the retina. These are a sign that the retina is no longer working as well as it once did. So what are some of the signs that you should look out for? What are some of the symptoms that you might experience? Well, macular disease affects people in a variety of ways, but there are a number of common signs to look out for. You may find that colours begin to fade or words disappear when you're reading. Sometimes objects may seem to change shape, size, or even disappear altogether. Often gaps or dark spots might appear in the middle of your vision or what you're seeing directly in front of you, particularly first thing in the morning. You may find that you are more sensitive to the glare from bright light and it may take longer for your eyes to adjust to changing light. If you experience any of these symptoms, be sure to tell your local optometrist who should be able to test for AMD. If you have been diagnosed with dry AMD, you may be wondering what lies ahead, how you can expect the disease to progress. In most cases, the disease will progress very slowly. While life will likely change in a number of ways, people diagnosed with dry AMD early on in the process are typically able to continue as normal for some time after being diagnosed. Around one in 10 people with dry AMD go on to develop wet AMD, and if you have AMD in one eye, it can often develop in the other eye as well. Wet AMD progresses quickly, but is treatable, which is why it is so important to visit an optometrist or eye specialist immediately should you notice any change in your vision, even if you already have dry AMD. When it comes to treating dry AMD, unfortunately there is currently no medical treatment available. However, there is a variety of support available and there are practical steps you can take to protect your vision as much as possible. You should try to follow good general health advice. Follow a healthy, balanced diet, including lots of green leafy vegetables. Try and keep your weight and blood pressure at healthy levels and don't smoke. Smoking is the single biggest risk factor for AMD after our genes and our age. The most important thing that you can do is regularly check and assess your vision to see whether you notice deterioration in your eyesight. Hopefully now you have a better overview of what AMD is and some of what you can expect to experience if you've been diagnosed with the disease. But you probably still have a number of unanswered questions. There is a wealth of information available on living with dry AMD and you can find both practical advice on how to cope with the challenges of losing central vision, as well as the contact details of experts to speak to regarding these challenges on the Macula Society website. Visit the website or YouTube channel for more helpful and practical information on living with AMD, as well as general eye health, where we also go into more detail on topics such as diet, reading, and protecting your eyes. You can also join the Macula Society for regular updates on research into AMD, new therapies that become available, and information on how to live well while managing AMD.